Please be joined with Jaguars right guard Brandon Sheriff here on 1010XL 92.5 FM. And thank you so much for your time. Great to see you. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing good. It's, uh, it's hot, but I'm doing good. Yeah. Great to see your family running around. How are they enjoying Jacksonville, and how are you guys getting along? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, you know, like I said, we came in from Iowa last, last week, so the weather difference was much different. Uh, kids go to sleep a lot earlier when they're a little bit more tired, so it's been nice. Uh, but it's fun to see them uh, run around and just enjoy each and every, each and all, all the teammates, you know, all the old linemen get together with uh, my son Easton, so it's fun to see him hang around with them. Yeah, that's very cool. How are you guys uh, enjoying now as you go into year two, just getting used to the city and, and things like that? Uh, good. You know, we love it here. We love uh, every aspect of it. Uh, you know, like I said, we're from Iowa, so we're used to the four seasons. So uh, in January when it's 90 degrees, it's, yeah. it's kind of different for us. So uh, we're enjoying it and uh, we're just excited to be here. Brandon, obviously last year you guys produced a 1,100 yard rusher. Uh, Trevor wasn't sacked very much. Uh, uh, numbers wise, offensively, a lot of big strides. How do you reflect back on your first year here and what you guys were able to get done? Yeah, I think it was fun. I think, uh, you know, Travis ran hard, uh, Jermichael ran hard, Snoop ran hard, and then when, when James was here, he ran hard too. And, you know, Trevor's smart. He knows where his hots are. He knows where the pressure is. So with the communication between him and Luke, it was good. And just being with Phil, you know, uh, Phil, Phil and all the offensive guys are going to put us in the right position. So we just got to go out there and uh, – and uh, do what they ask us to do. How much does that help you guys on the line to have that familiarity with Doug, uh, Press, Phil, all that continuity? That's good. You know, from year one, you have to, you have to, you know, meet everybody, know what they're about, you know, learn the whole system. In year two, you know, it's just like you're, you hit the ground running. You know, you know what to expect. You know what camp's going to be like. You know what Doug's type of practices are going to be like. So, uh, and then obviously, I've been familiar with Phil, and he's going to work us. He's going to work us hard. So it's it's been good, and uh, we're just excited to be here. How do you kind of ramp it up? Uh, you know, you all pro in this league. I mean, you be, you've done it for a long time. What's sort of the timeline that you have as far as? getting yourself ready for September 10th at the Colts? Uh, it's just, you know, just trying to improve uh, one day at a time, you know, uh, um, just taking what Phil teaches us that day and taking it to the field. And then uh, I've had many mentors in my life, so it's just trying to help trying to help the other people so that we can, all five of us can, you know, play on the same page and, and become one. Doug said today, you know, he appreciates your calmness, that you bring a calmness to the group uh, that he thinks is very vital, particularly since you were next to a rookie center last year, going to be next to a rookie right tackle, at least for a portion of this season. Uh, how much pride do you take in that and your demeanor in leading these guys? Uh, good. You know, I hope I hope that calmness is a good thing. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, uh, but I've learned, you know, never to, to get too high or too low. Um, never let one bad play turn into two, three, four. So it's just, you know, if you make a mistake, flush it mentally and move on and then when Phil brings it up in meetings just correct it and then uh, the next day try not to let that happen so it's just you know talking talking people through you know like sometimes it's like talking people off a ledge you know they they get they get so high and so low and it's just like just just stay right there just stay right there you're going to be good and and then uh, just don't think about it yeah. what kind of growth do you see from the offense in general and Trevor you know now with everything installed compared to last year when you guys were getting to kind of know each other yeah you know I think uh, the first four days have been have been positive for us uh, we've been doing some really good things and like I said when year one learning the system learning the verbiage the terminology um, is a little bit you're going to be a little bit slower year two you know we're hitting the ground running knowing what to expect and how to communicate with one another in terms of looking at uh, um, you know going through uh, Fortner's youth last year Anton's this year what what kind of growth did you see out of Luke and and handling the mental aspect of the game and and not missing a snap all year yeah, you know, he had a heck of a rookie year, and I, I said last year that he was one of the smartest rookies I ever played with. Um, and just seeing uh, he got a little bit more conf- – he got more, more and more confident. He was starting to communicate. You know, he was making more calls. He wasn't um, – if Trevor, Trevor, didn't, he, Trevor didn't make the call, Luke was going to make it for him. So that's what Trevor said. If you see something, say something. So uh, Luke, you could tell as the year went on, Luke got a lot more confident and more uh, verbal with his communication. What's the advice that you would give a rookie center compared to a rookie right tackle, and what are some things that are universal between the two? I would say, you know, you're going against uh, you're going against guys that you played uh, the best guys you played against in college every day. So you just got to bring your best. You know, they're going to win some, you're going to win some. Like I said, don't get too high, too low. Stay the course and just try to get better. Like Doug says, one percent better each day.